Whoa. Welcome back, it's windy out there today. Uh, let's take a look at this sign plate we made last time. Uh, it's twisted and, uh, and I think that might be down to the fact that one or two, bone, one or both of these bars is bent, but uh, we'll have a look. Right, so this is the plate. Um, it's an old T-slot sub-plate, uh, sub-table from a machine. I don't know what it came from, I was giving it. Anyway, uh, what we did last time, as you saw, if you follow, follow the channel, is we put, uh, we machined out um, some sections out of two pieces of hydraulic ram and, uh, and then just screwed them onto the corners. And uh, it looks good. It seems to be okay but it does have a wobble, so uh, let me put that on the, the surface plate and we'll have a look. Here is my very, very old weeny little surface plate. Um, I have no idea just how flat this is, but uh, it's good enough for what we need here. Right. Uh, to First thing to do is to put it this way up. and just sort of get a feel for it. There's a definite high spot there. And there's a high spot here somewhere of looking at it. But uh, more importantly, it doesn't wobble. Okay, uh, I've got a little measuring gauge there. Let's uh, just spin it over and just prove to ourselves that it is indeed wobbly. Yeah, that is indeed wobbly. Here's a quick close-up to show you exactly how much wibble wobble we've got on that. This is the next test I thought I'd do. Uh, we're looking for light popping underneath that bar. And that one looks okay. So that bar isn't bent too badly. Let's just turn it round. Have a look at this one. Turn this over. Now here I've got uh, a stand, a, a scriber stand, in fact, with a uh, 0 0.01 millimetre uh, dial test indicator, and that is 0 0.0005 five thou uh, per division. So um, let's sweep that across there. There we go. That's about zero. So now if I sweep down the bar, going over the high spot, that's that's gone up a little bit by about 0 0.05. No, less than that, 0 0.005 of a mil. I'll speed this up a bit. It's, uh, it's a bit low this end. Yeah, it's definitely low this end. By... Point zero, uh, point zero zero two of a millimeter. Uh, what's that? That's about ten thou. Yeah, it's about ten thou low at that end. That's not a lot. Um, so let's do the same thing the other way around. Right. Let's see what it's like compared end for end. Oh, that's very very low. Oh, that's a that's not far off there. That's um, very slightly high at that end. Yeah, and it drops away. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looks like we're. 
I'll bring that in as a close-up so you can see that. You'll have to forgive this as being a very odd angle, but um, there we go. That is about there, which is 0.15 of a millimetre down, which is around what I, what I found with the feeler gauge last week. I found it about 0.2 mil. So, uh, so this end is the, is the dodgy end. Low 0.15 millimetres. Right, next up is to take the bars off both ends and um, I've colour coded them already so I've got black, black there, purple and purple there so they go back in exactly the same place. Uh, I'll take both of them off and then we'll just sweep the plate to make sure that the plate is okay. Found a suitable Allen key, let's, uh, oh, let's take these off. Okay, so first thing to do is to turn it over, make sure we've got no burrs, nothing on the plate. Right, that's flat, that's not wobbling. So let's just try this again. Okay, I've got it um, on its, uh, just blocking it backwards and forwards to see if we can see any light under it. Uh, it's extremely difficult to film, but, but there is light coming through there. I can feel there's a bit that needs deburring. I think that's probably due to these holes. But what I'm going to do is hang it over the edge and hold it in place with uh, something heavy, my vice, my nice shiny new vice, and uh, I'm, gonna, oh, I'm gonna sweep across that. That's zero there, zero there, zero there, very slightly under there, slightly under there, yeah, slightly under there, Right, so with maximum deviation on this is 0 .0, 0 0.01 of a millimetre. So that's pretty all right. So now let me just um, flip this bar over and let's do the other, oh, the other face. Right, same thing, pin it in place. Let's start this end. I have to apologise for Timmy the tumble dryer next door. You probably hear him whirring away in the background. Ah. Ah. Here's our problem. Yep. So I think what we're saying is this machine surface under here is actually not, I didn't get it correct. So it uh, looks like I'm about 0.15 of a millimetre low at this end, which is, which corresponds with what I tested on the plate. So the other side, the other one is okay. Right, so let me screw this in. And then we'll have a sweep. Right, so here we go. I, I think I might have fixed it. If I sweep under there, that's about zero, just round zero, just smidge under zero, smidge under zero, smidge under zero. Yep, smidge under zero. Speech under zero. 
and more importantly if I turn it over wobble's gone and uh, you'll have to take my word for it but I've swept across uh, the, the faces and we're close enough for the sort of machine that I do definitely close enough so how do I fix it you ask yourself feeler gauge chucked a piece of feeler gauge under it so what I'm going to do is just um, chop the end off this feeler gauge and leave it in there spin it round clean the plate clean the sub plate the sign bar and Spot on, like that. Right, uh, we'll have a demonstration. The uh, the distance from here, this pivot, this pivot point to this pivot point on this plate is 231 millimeters. I know it's a bit of a pain, but there you go. There's a calculator on the Little Machine Shop um, .com website. I will put a link to that on in the description. Right, so here's my little um, uh, angle gauge. Not brilliantly accurate, but good enough. So uh, now the plate is set, that's set to zero. So uh, according to the little machine shop, I need a stack of 20.1 and change millimeters. So um, there's some gauge blocks at 20.1. So if I put that under here, there we go, and let that settle, 4.9. I think we'd buy that, wouldn't we? That's um, I wouldn't trust this as much as I would trust the plate. The plate, I think, is going to be more accurate because uh, because it's a, it's a calculated known entity. The um, how can I explain this? The um, uh, the distance between there and there, I can't accurately measure. So that's not true. I can reasonably accurately measure. So uh, I could uh, improve my accuracy by knowing that in more uh, detail. Um, and the other thing is these are always going to round up because of the way digital stuff works it rounds up or rounds down so I reckon 4.9 is good enough uh, oh and this should have been four, uh, this should have been 21.3 I think so uh, adding a, 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 the 0.3 there 0.03 there would probably make that read 5 exactly so uh, yeah I think we're there really aren't we Right, uh, if you've made it this far, congratulations, it's pretty dull, but uh, I fixed the twist in this, uh, which is my own fault, because I didn't machine it as accurately as I should have done, but eh, I'm lazy, what can I say? Anyway, uh, we've got the twist out of it, it works absolutely fine, it's as accurate as it needs to be for the sort of stuff that I do, so I'll be more than, more than happy to use it. Um, it will, this plate is big enough to hold the fourth axis on Sally the Sile, that's over the back there, uh, so now I just need to make a tool to fit the uh, correct profile for these, these teeth on this power drawbar linear actuator and uh, we can cut the new gear for that. So uh, stick around for that. That's going to be a bit more complicated. Uh, it should be more fun, more learning, more deep, more expense. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Do hit the subscribe and the uh, notification bell and uh, stay safe. We'll see you on the next one been really windy here today um, luckily we had a few power dips but luckily we've not lost the power yet and um, the roof is still on the summer house and the shed so uh, I'm pleased so far but the day's not over <laughs>